Allah SWT, sini saya pergi ke mana? Sini. Mandi lah, tante. Oh, that is a little bit. Nibas, she may group so. Oh, that is a machine. I got a machine. She may be a machine. She may be a machine. You take 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 a machine. Okay. So now we continue the teaching on. Attaining and how to attain shamatha, the perfect one-pointed meditative concentration. And uh, so we've come to the part of the text that is says the uh, the actual way uh, to attain shamatha. Since we've uh, we've already covered the the preliminaries, the the uh, prerequisites to uh, attaining shamatha. Now we do the actual process of attaining it. Ah. <laughs> Utah, never up when you put the G. David Julie to us, Terota, Luton and Long, no. Jeton, Tinta, Gopa, Dumiton, the G. Tell a Nebanga de Dawson. Ah, he never never got off from Gaji. Leluci, Nanga Jebadri. Any Chimari, Gopari. Any Jigu is never to be Jebari. Chicken ニバテンシュクマシテシマルゴバセセヤトリシジマミボナポチュヨマクゴバシンドミジセタチグジュムディチグドンドタチュチンニボテンクロチェソンニボンドミジバデチグジュムディニボンドミジバネヤシネンディ
practicing the eight remediations, you will attain shamatha. And so Maitreya goes on to say, what are these five faults? The first one is uh, the, the term here is sometimes translated laziness, but it's really a sort of a just a state of disinterest. Uh, so we could call it that. Maybe disinterest is better than laziness. Um, and that's the first of the five faults. The second is the the lack of mindfulness with regard to the meditation teachings. So this is where you just, uh, you, you're you not mindful of them, you forget them. Um, you know, these are the forgetting the, or not being mindful of the essential teachings on how to meditate. That's the second fault. The third fault is uh, distraction. And the mind gets very busy with things other than the meditation and uh, distracted into those things. Uh, then the fourth one is the sort of uh, drowsy state where the, the mind sort of sinks into drowsiness. And this is while you're trying to practice meditation. You either get too distracted or your mind becomes dull and drowsy. So that's the third and the fourth. Then um, so let's see. Um, so then the the fifth one is. Well, I'm sorry. That the, that uh, distraction and drowsiness together are the third of the five uh, faults. So the fourth one is the lack of remediation. Not not remediating things when you need to. And the fifth and last one is too much remediation. In other words, applying the antidotes to the faults when you uh, beyond the point uh, that you need to apply them. So then uh, we'll now look into these these five faults and the uh, eight. Uh, remediations that remove those five faults. That's well. Oh, that's it. So the name is not under the name of 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 Sunshabanagi <laughs> That's Uh, so, so now, uh, now we're, we're, um, keep in mind that we're following the uh, the the text that we're following is uh, the Nandralachan of uh, uh, Pabonka, Chamba Tens and Trinle Gyatso, um, and here he, having presented uh, the. Uh, these five faults and eight remediations, according to uh, Maitreya's Madhyanta Vibhanga, he says that this is the locus classicus. This is the uh, canonical source for the specific teachings on how to 
attain shamatha. This is, uh, uh, Maitreya presents the Lord Buddha's own words on how to do this. And this has been, uh, this is the place where you look for these instructions. And he says that this is very important to keep in mind that when we talk about, we talk about meditation or attaining the single pointed concentration of shamatha, there's a lot of things written and said by different people. And when we practice, or we, when we engage in meditative practice, we are focusing our mind on something. We are cultivating something. Uh, we are cultivating something in our mind. So it's very important that we're concentrating on the right things and we're doing it in the right way. Otherwise, you can spend years of uh, effort in meditative practice and just be get, getting more and more uh, further and further away from the goal because you, uh, you're not following uh, the, uh, the valid or the genuine teachings of the Buddha. Therefore, we have to always look and say, whatever meditation I am practicing, is it in accord with the teachings? Is it what the Buddha taught? Is it what is explained by Maitreya and by Asanga and by the great teachers of, uh, uh, of India and uh, Tibet who have the... Uh, the authoritative teachings. Don't go astray, he's warning us. Don't go astray and follow some miscellaneous path uh, taught by someone uh, that sounds good but has nothing to do with the, uh, the classical authentic teachings of the Buddha uh, on this very important subject because it's so easy to do that and fall into the that uh, wrong path of meditation that will lead you nowhere or to some place that you really don't want to go. So, since that the lesson is how many rules we have, we want to move on to. Since I'm in between, I'm going to do some of the top one. I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to do the last 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 one. I'm going to do the ता ที่คนที่เจอจะเป็นคนที่สิ่งที่เจอจะเป็นคนที่ชัดเจนที่เดินมาจากเจอจะเป็นคนที่ชัดเจนที่เดินมาจากเจอจะเป็นคนที่ช
Te da de la condición de Banga, la de la da, neva, neva, calis, la neva, tambo, sala, neva, 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 tambo, que le doy, que se va a llorar. Si te va a decir, si a long disciplined uh, practice of meditating, uh, the author then reiterates this. And he says this is so important because even you know, he's, he's speaking to his Tibetan audience of about 100 years ago here, and he's saying so many people go astray here because when you are practicing meditation, whether it's to attain shamatha, or whether it's a tantric practice of the generation or the completion stage, what you're doing is you're taking an object or a, a series of objects and you're practicing them over and over, over again for a long period of time. And you can get very good at it through practice, whatever you take up. But if you take up the wrong thing, and you do it in the wrong way, uh, the results will be very, very wrong. The consequences will be something that you really don't want. So he says, you really have to, before you take it to practice, you have to really investigate yourself and say, is this the genuine teachings of the, of the Buddha? Does this follow the, uh, the, the great the central pathway of Buddhist practice taught by the Buddha, taught by Maitreya, taught by the Sangha, Nagarjuna, down through the, uh, through the years of Indian and Tibetan Buddhism to Jade Tsongkhapa, who, um, who integrates all of these teachings uh, in, and explains them, elucidates them so clearly. If you're doing that, then you're on the right path. Uh, if you're taking some side path that has nothing to do with this, you have to beware because the consequences will not be good. So he, he wants us to really, uh, before we in get involved in meditation practice, to really understand the teachings and where they're coming from and uh, how they reflect or do not reflect the actual teachings of the Lord Buddha. So then, uh, having emphasized and reiterated that, then he starts uh, talking now about the first of the five faults, which is this uh, sort of uh, the, the state of being sort of disinterested. Uh, if you're disinterested in attaining shamatha, then of course you won't attain it. You won't make the efforts uh, necessary. So you have to transform your uh, sort of lazy, disinterested attitude towards meditation. And so you have to apply the remediations to this first fault. And the remediations consist of four antidotes to the disinterest in meditative attainment. Russell. Oh, <laughs> That thing is the sweet to do that. Don't watch that thing is a Google Gula to do chin. Google Mother has a temper temper to do my law. This is not sweet to wish him on good. I shame him. She is on the twenty Google Mother, she is very much. She is on the Lucia session in Europe. Never did you know that? And I can't go there. You think is it a tumble? Thing is a go by the dream and do by once. She is a term needed. Lenny 
Nyt on se nivo, lea taki, se nimo diake, se juoroa, katine lyliala, se nivo kuule, se on demoniano, se lea tosiala, 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 The same as the same Gunka, the Pedro, the same at Tonchi, I remember what the Sayo, the same as I told. The same as I was doing up a message thing is going to say. I would you go, Sari, you know. They never tumble the Lugia, never sent on that little Napoli, she sent on the Asia. Lelugi won't get any thing in the Guni Mudiva to me, the Bamichon or the Mugu or Tinkum. Let's give us a little. Hm. Okay, so the this first fault, the disinterest, uh, there are four things which will eliminate that. These are called the four antidotes. Uh, and the first of these is a deep confidence, a deep faith in the value of shamatha of attaining shamatha. Um, so to have uh, a deep faith and confidence in it, you have to understand what it is, what exactly you're aiming at. Uh, and when you see the value of it, uh, then you develop that confident faith in engaging in the practice. And so this is the first antidote to disinterest because this causes you to become very interested in it and very committed uh, to it. So this, the second one follows that. Once you have that faith in the, you know, the value of meditative concentration, uh, then uh, and you see the, you have, you have an understanding of the end point of it, of that, of what shamatha means that perfect one-pointed, undistracted meditative concentration. So then, once you understand it, there naturally arises um, a deep desire to attain it. So this is um, uh, it's something that you want more than anything else at that point. You want to attain that single-pointed concentration of shamatha because you see that anything short of that uh, remains a distracted mind, a mind which is distracted uh, by the frivolities and uh, um, senseless things of the world. So uh, then this leads to the third of the four antidotes to disinterest, and that is perseverance. Uh, that is uh, a mind which, a state of mind in uh, which uh, you will not allow any obstacles to prevent you um, from engaging in the meditative process. Um, so you pursue it with energy and sort of a joyful energy because you see that you through doing this, you are proceeding towards that desired goal of shamatha. And then uh, that leads to the fourth of the four antidotes to disinterest, and that is the state of mind uh, which devotes itself to that ultimate attainment of shamatha. And so this is, the, this fourth one is really informed by the, the first three, uh, but it has the sort of additional quality of under, really understanding the nature of the goal. What is the nature of shamatha? The nature of shamatha is called, um, for lack of a better word, uh, we say suppleness. In Tibetan is Xinjiang. So the supplement means a, um, the 
physical and the mental suppleness that the mind and the body have attained a state of um, um, sort of uh, a high state of ability, the mind in concentrating on its object and the body in supporting that concentration. So this is the suppleness is really the effect of successful practice. And just like when we practice anything else, whether a musical instrument or sport, whatever it is, you get to a point where it becomes extremely easy to do that because we're, we have conditioned our mind and body to that activity so well that it just becomes very easy. And so that's what we're doing here in meditation. We get to that point where the mind focuses completely on its object and um, uh, with the, uh, the support of the body. And so the body becomes able to do whatever you direct it to do. The mind becomes able to accomplish uh, anything that you focus it, you focus your concentration on. And that is the state of suppleness of Shincho. Jesus,那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那那
and to attain shamatha. Okay, so uh, now we've finished the uh, uh, the first of the five faults. So in the next session, we'll go on to uh, the other four, uh, what they are and how they're overcome by the various uh, antidotes or remediations. So we'll stop here and ask if there's any questions on any part of this teaching. I'd like to ask a question. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, I, I have a little bit of confusion about the two of the remedies for disinterest. Uh, the second one was the, to drive the desire to attain shamatha. And then the fourth one also sort of seems like it's similar. But could you maybe talk a little bit about the difference between the mm. second remedy okay. yeah. and the Very fourth good. remedy? Very good. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, the Yeshua, um, La. Mm. the Lelo, the, um, um, let's see, good day. What day? Uh, the Lelo, maybe, so yeah, so yeah, uh, Dango, Deva, go, be, be, the name, but the, um, uh, take, she, go, by, the, uh, Deva, she, go, be, be. The Sumba, the Sundra, Yuri, the Shiba, uh, Seichi Gompa, the Drebu, the Shinjang Yuri. Then in Yiba Dan Shiba, Drapo Shidrade, say to do, Drapo Re, Nika, uh, the Shine, uh, Shine, the Deba Yuri. ディーダーケーバーガリベニバダンシバカレンダンバダテバレラレンダンバテバロディンジンディンジンテビテバグロディーダーバテバドバダンバダンバニブテスチバヨレンダンバダヤダンダンバティアテバニティスチバヨレディ
Dua sih kalau, tapi jenah tahu lah. Lagi kangen gue, saya kangen gue ni. Guni mandi apa dah? Tapi kalau saya kangen sih aja, saya nak guni, saya nak pergi kangen macam macam. Tapi kangen dia aja susah ni. Kini tahu lah, ya buat canggih. Tapi dia kini macam sih, dia kini tahu lah dia beri ni. Kini tahu lah, tapi dia juga tak. Then sendu tinggi juga sih muda. Jiba tu jiba tinggi jiba tiang gula. Kini tahu tu jiba tinggi jiba cakar ni. Gua nak juga tinggi jadi, tinggi jadi sesuatu kini tahu berapa. Tapi sendu tinggi juga sih muda, dapat berapa? Dapat berapa? Dapat berapa? Jadi dapat cuma dah jadi ni. Kini gua ni sendal, lama lama dah jadi sesuatu kalau. Okay, so the difference here is. Is that the um, second antidote to disinterest is that uh, that state of mind which uh, desires and wishes for uh, the attainment of single pointed meditative concentration. In other words, a fully focused mind, an undistracted focused mind. So this is a, the, the general uh, nature of shamatha. It's the, the ability to focus clearly and undistractedly on one's object. So this is sort of a, a general thing that you desire having first applied the first antidote uh, which is developing that faith in the good qualities of uh, of shamatha, of single-pointed concentration. Uh, just sort of believing it exists, believing it's available to you, and gaining confidence uh, in its, its value uh, to you as an individual. So having that faith, then... Uh, that arises from seeing or understanding those good qualities. Then the second one is that desire of it, the yearning for that state, and seeing the faults of distraction in general. Um, the third one, of course, is perseverance in, in the process of attaining it. Now, the fourth one, the fourth one is very much like the, the second one, but it's more specific. Uh, it is uh, not just attaining single-pointed concentration, but it's understanding that when you have that single-pointed concentration, you uh, attain this suppleness of body and mind. So this is like uh, the effect of shamatha or it's entailed in shamatha, but it's not just single-pointed uh, med meditative concentration. It's what you get out of that single-pointed meditative concentration, which is a mind and body, which are uh, have this sort of, um, let's say, uh, it's a very joyful thing. It's a state of um, sort of, mental and physical bliss because the mind is no longer distracted, no longer troubled with various things and focuses on these virtuous objects and attains um, uh, full knowledge of them. So it's a lightness, a suppleness of body and mind. So it's a mental and physical state that is, that is uh, desired in the fourth one, whereas the second one is just more the seeing and desiring the undistracted state of mind. And so here in the fourth one, there is sort of a, um, a, a clear realization of the faults of not having the suppleness of body and mind and uh, sort of, you could almost say a disgust with it. You're disgusted with your mind, which is always distracted in your body, that is uh, sort of pulled this way and that, and strained and stressed by your lack of uh, single-pointed concentration. Uh, so it's, it's the desire to get rid of all of that and attain that suppleness 
and the, the, the sort of the, the pleasure <coughs> that goes with it, the, the good feeling that goes with it. Can you say the dedication prayers? Can you say the dedication prayers? <laughs> 